going all the way in today, whatever po- uh, platform you're listening on, especially YouTube, go ahead and hit the like button and make sure that you share the content. We do appreciate, you know, all the people coming over from whatever channel. But yeah, man, we're going to jump, um, you know, into our first story, you know, uh, of the day. And Dane Dash comes back up and we know about uh, Lior. I'll say it right, Lior, because people was getting me in the comments saying lawyer. But that's, you know, whatever. I heard some people say lawyer, whatever. We know his name. Liar, lawyer, Lior. Lior Cohen. You know, went on the breakfast club and pretty much sh- showed a side, you know, pretty much showed himself, you know, who he really was, you know, according to um, and Dane Dash and people like us, you know, the word coach of ultra has been thrown around. So, um, you know, Dane Dash has been making his rounds. He ends up on Joe Button's podcast. Shout out to Joe Button, you know, and his podcast. And he continues to go in on um, Leo Cohen, Sam. Well, that were really exciting for us never existed and i think he flagrantly displayed that in public just because he's so used to it so that he's a perfect as a matter of fact i coined the term because of him and he's also made it culture vultures also make it where a lot of history doesn't get made just because for their own personal benefit so there's Man, a lot of do you think that, that leo do you think that leo cohen has not contributed to hip-hop at all what I think he's done is exploited it, and I don't think he's of it. And that's all I'm addressing. I don't care what he's done for it. Yeah, that's but not my when question. you say he's not said, of I, it. I, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that it discredits anything he's done, but uh, just because someone's done good for hip-hop, if he's a child molester, he's still a child molester. So hmm. all the good doesn't, all, all the molesting negates every bit of good that you do. If you hurt the people, especially my people, and you make it where, let me ask you a question. Don't you think it's a little foul that Todd Wise-Switch and J-O-E, Joey and, and Julie Paul? Have, have have jobs over got girls like Sh- Sherry, Brian, all the black girls in the industry have to work for all of these white people that don't know nothing about music. That's what he's done. Um, he's, 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 he's killed our nepotism. He's used his nepotism. Todd Mon- Todd Monsford can't even dance. He's a lawyer. How does he get a job over someone from our culture? Why does why does why why does why why does uh, Sherry have to work for Todd Monsford or Julie Greenwald? Or why does Tina Davis not? Why does Tina Davis have to? isn't running one of these one of these uh companies well, i don't understand that because he's the one that's put all these people in business to further control our culture why is something called urban music run by anybody white or black music well, how could it be run by someone that's not black what, what is that for our culture bro uh, you, you stumped me it's <laughs> very <laughs> you, you 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 stumped me a bit there dane but i mean i guess i don't really hold it against the white people <laughs> it's not a white thing, it's not a culture thing. There are people of this culture that deserve it. Like I Steve's like the young kid as a run. You know, I'm not saying just people that don't care about the culture. Lee, you don't listen to no rap music. Okay. You don't listen to music, and he never did. Did he ever teach anybody how to take care of themselves? You know, instead he got mad at the fact that we figured out a way to make other money off our ancillary and then figured out a way to get it. So then he invented the 360. He's cancer for the culture. And then what, he, what does he do? When somebody that's good for the culture wants to come around, he's going to blackball them or make it where they don't exist. So that means he's interfering with my relationship wherever he's at, whether it's um, um, who you who or Who's he blackballing? Or, oh, no, he's blackballing you. I, well, he just now said, I'm blackballing, meaning that if he's working for an institution that he doesn't own, he's not going to acknowledge any, any business that I got to do over there. Yeah, and it's not his true. to do that. And he just made that very, very, that's torturous interference. Like, if I really feel like it, I could put some money on his head. And I've been thinking about doing it because he's already messed up so much. But he's been so flagrant. You understand what I'm saying? Like he's been so 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 brazen. He's so disrespectful. Every time I yelled at him, it wasn't for me. It was for y'all. Because he never talked to me like that. He would never fix his mouth to speak like that to me. To talk down on me. Or to tell me you didn't hear me talking. He would never even think about doing that. And he's not smarter than none of us. That's what's funny. He swears he's smart. So I would love to publicly have a conversation with him so he could display his intellect. Can I organize? And, I want, I? I want, and, and, and here's another thing. I want, to, I want to make this real clear, but I don't really like. What I don't like that YouTube is doing is when there's a beef lyrically between one of us, YouTube is paying an artist to, res, to respond. And I personally know that. And now now that I know who's behind it, it makes sense. So now, now, now YouTube is cashing in on rap beef and they're paying people to respond? What type of shit is that? Now what happens if somebody gets hurt? Hmm. Well, and then and now I'm no, now I'm like it must be Leo, because that's what they've been doing. Whenever we got a beef with each other, 
They actually, and, look, and, and that's what they do. They make it where we have a beef with, from each other, with each other so they can profit. So Damn. when they ask him a question about Rockefeller, he starts to call other people's names out, not him. So we can fight each other. That's not happening, bro. I'm never fighting a rapper. Nobody with my color of skin or from my culture. I want I want to smoke with Leo. I want the CEO smoke so we can see how they do it in business. I'm not a rapper. Damn, I, I'll be honest. I'm going to try to organize the smoke for you. Please do. Get the smoke, bro. All right, I am. And, and, then you, and then what you really want to do is ask him why, he, why he's really mad. Alright. Shit, I'm with it. <laughs> I'ma set it up, Dang. I and he profits, they profit off of, off a of rap beef all the time. Let's do a YouTube event with me and Leo speak. Let them profit off. Why they don't profit off an intellectual beef then? Paul. Yeah, no, I'm all for intellectual beef. So when a man calls another man out on a CEO boss level, then that's when they start saying they don't they don't exist. But when two artists are getting ready to get at each other's neck violently, physically in front of the whole culture, they actually give them money to do it. You need to ask him about that at YouTube when you ask him. That's why he's terrible for the culture, because he profits off of our dysfunction. That's the problem, mm. bro. Well, All right. I, I'm, I'm going to try and set it up. Damn, I'm going to hit you when I'm in L.A. I love you, it, man. You know, he's scared. It he's may, scared. Oh, oh, I... It's a lot there. Um, Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot. Um, I do agree. I do agree with a large portion, you know, um, of what Dame Dash, you know, um, said there. You know, um, about that historically, we seen that um, you were just saying a few minutes ago um, how these people could come into our culture and benefit off of, you know, all the things that we do and then take it back and feed their culture without ever giving anything to ours. So when they are, you know, uh, um, I don't know about that claim of him saying that YouTube is paying artists. I don't know, you know, how true that is, you know, how factual, you know, um, that is. But that's a whole nother uh, situation. But um the culture vulture thing is very real. It's very um, and and it's and another thing is the control. And this is one thing that always it, it baffles me how, you know, um, we could be generating so much money for these companies. And Jay Z even spoke on it before. And that's another conversation too. We could generate these billions of dollars, and we only getting pennies of this. It's, it, you know, it takes me back to the book called Forty Million Dollar Slaves. You know, it, where it's just like. Um, NFL, all these different industries that we um, are in, and it seems to be controlled, and we really don't have control because the people at the top are the people who not necessarily have the best, you know, for the culture or us, but they just have the best, you know, for their pockets and whatever the bottom line. You heard Lior Cohen come on the air and say, yeah, he knows that, you know, um, that these artists are promoting, you know, drug use, um, getting people high on opiates and whatnot, but he don't care. He's still going to do it because he has people to feed. Somebody like that will be considered you know, an enemy and toxic, you know, to a culture who is downtrodden and is trying to bring themselves, you know, uh, um, up so-called what they say, the saying is by their, their, by their bootstraps, you know? So if you, if you're trying to bring yourself up and you got people constantly, you know, um, doing things to, to um, to pull you down, you got to call that out. We cannot sit here, sit back here and, 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 and demonize Damon Dash for calling out What's real? This is real. And it's something that's been going on for a lot of times. And it goes on in damn near all the industries, you know, that I ran. So I can't really argue against what he said. It's a wake up call. You know, um, Leo Korn, right? He's he's the scapegoat. Let's say the scapegoat for a lot of a lot of shit. And I don't mean that in a bad way because he deserves everything that's coming to him. The 360 deal is a way the easiest way to put an artist behind bars and shackle him for life. That's nothing but a death sentence when it comes to artists and their dreams. We shouldn't be surprised that he's doing exactly what he's doing, which is taking from a culture and giving to his own. It's happening everywhere around us. It's been happening since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be surprised by that. Shouldn't be surprised right. that he's doing exactly what he's doing. What we should do is put money and plant seeds into our own, build them up so that we have something to go on. That's what Dame Dash has been preaching another day, another time. We'll get on that when we have to. Right. I'm glad that he alluded to that it doesn't have a color because I want to talk about the 360 deal in particular for one second because there's a lot of labels below your main labels right that have this little bit of quote-unquote independent money or may have had fame in back in the day may have had a little something so they have a little bit of a foundation to stand on mm -hmm. and they throwing out 360 deals to these hungry artists below the main artist every fucking day yeah all day long selling them a dream selling them name selling them perception mm -hmm. selling them clout selling them all the bullshit because a lot of these artists don't properly have their paperwork can't afford lawyers 
can't afford proper publicists, can't afford people, the right people in their ear to let them know, nah, this is nonsense, nah, nah, this is this, nah, this is that. Mm -hmm. So they sell them on perception, they sell them on a dream, give them this contract that essentially is nothing more than a 360 deal mm -hmm. to hold them forever. Meanwhile, not realizing that the business that they just got into allows them to have tax breaks, allows them to gain money financially when it comes to the government, the business. So essentially what these smaller labels are doing to try to cheat and gain kind of financial gain for their other bullshit that they may have going on is they're pimping out their artists with their with the with their social security numbers with the with the business aspect of it and the artists have absolutely no idea what's going on under them mm -hmm. at all it's 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 the devil him fucking self culture vulture to an absolute t taken from your culture for financial gain of your own maybe not on the grand level to where you're going to get exposed but you're doing it every single day to every single artist we can, i see it all day long it reeks right it, it, it's terrible and they need to be exposed to and they will eventually six nine he talked about six nine early on and leo cohen threw some shots at six nine right and we all can he's easily able to throw shots at mm -hmm. he's a clown you know what i mean he does his perspective but one thing that you cannot deny about this young dude right here is that he's getting money and it's not thanks to the label and they don't like it they mm -hmm. can't stand it and when dame dash brought up the situation with youtube it, it got my bells ringing i was like hmm six nine has all of his content instagram youtube whatever he throws out is monetized so yeah. if he's going to have a beef he's getting the money not you not them not anybody else he is they don't like that mm -hmm. they don't like that he's self-made mm -hmm. and he has the control and if you're going to pimp out and you're going to culture vulture through the culture however you're going to do it guess what i'm going to do it but i'm gonna get paid for it myself mm -hmm. he don't like that you can see it in the beginning of the interview oh yeah i'm not six nine that's six nine guy blah, 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 blah. easily throwing shots but why would leo cohen throw shots at a six nine because six right. nine is doing business that leo cohen doesn't have his culture vulture ass hand in. well let's just talk about you know this to get into the conversation of the independent and the people that go to the labels because this is where the line is drawn and what dame is getting to on the back end also is like and when he had the uh conversation with van latham he was on the breakfast club saying yo y'all should do your own thing why are y'all sitting underneath this corporation and company you know you making good money and all that but you could be doing your own thing getting this crowd and you controlling the situation so when things come up like different scandals and stuff you can't be fired from this job because you own it so you have to salute people like six nine and you know plenty of artists that came before him that did the independent thing you got a lot of people in the south you know have been doing the independent thing for a long time they've been hip to it mm -hmm. you know what i mean but you know again it's the allure of the label you know and right now and this is what dame is trying to tell you, you really don't need a label but if you're lazy and you don't want to you know you know do get up and do things on your own and learn and read we got computers in our pocket mm -hmm we can learn anything on this computer we can go anywhere in this computer and so it's just like the, the, you know and that's what even with the podcast you know uh with the uh you know the tk kirkland situation you know um he was saying on the interview where you know right now it's for the um you know the businessman and the hungry entrepreneur now you know the podcast game because it's like people can pretty much you know write their own way if you're hungry enough you could do what you want to do so independence for me you know um is, is this it, it makes sense naturally you know for one um going corporate is too much control too much red tape you can't do what you want you know um you got to sit around and uh, um just be you know around people you don't even want to be around and so now we know that even it's possibly possible that the record label is even feeding these rappers what to say you know what i mean uh, um and they lyrics and stuff like that so just like or even saying you can't say this if it's if it's positive so you know then that's 100 percent correct you know and i think um it's the underlying issue you know is when we go back and look at the um we talk about the 360 deal dame dash talks about them being able getting smarter than the labels and creating merchandise creating t-shirts creating things where they can make money outside of the music they don't like that like you say as well because now they can corner you know the market on anything you do you go tell some t-shirts oh, we got a percentage of that you sell this you do shows we got a percentage of that no mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah then that, that's why i don't like when you know in closing you know everybody has to join up with all these different brands make your own but I, i'll close on that facts on that man i got really got much to say on that i think that we've seen i have to pull up the article but in 2017 2018 the amount of money that the artists made was absolutely just disgusting they made no money you're not making mm -hmm. money in the labels you're not making money in any deals it absolutely makes no sense when you're only on, honestly the real kind of uh, wealth you're going to gain from being in, um, in the music industry right now as an artist is on tours and your merchandise that's yep. it it's the only thing you got control over so if you're not doing that you're not making any money and it's, it's showing 
in the numbers. But just to talk about real quick on the Instant of Truth podcast. Yes. With your brother, old guy, myself, Sam Inch. Y'all see the hats right there. The Vile Hip Hop News hats. Yeah. Officially on the market online on eBay and Amazon. Yeah. Friday, August 10th. Can't wait for that, man. We'll have links in the description box on all three platforms, whatever y'all watching. 